we will be talking about uh, central finance and how it aligns with group reporting and we also discuss uh, what group reporting is and it will be again in FAQ format so that you get quickly the overview rather than I explaining something. So before we move to the topic, uh, happy to inform this is the 18th video uh, in FAQ uh, format and of course more video will come and do share your questions, your experiences and I will put more videos for you to carry on the learning uh, at home at your convenience online mode at no cost. So let's go, let's try to understand the core topic. Uh, first question when you hear what is uh, group reporting is all about, what, what this topic is. So group reporting is a component of S4 HANA. So now this component is coming within S4 HANA itself. Uh, you have a component called uh, group reporting for S4 HANA. If you go to the menu, I will show it and when I show you the configuration. And uh, this is something from license perspective. This is an additional license which you need to buy from SAP uh, for group reporting. Now, what does it mean? Uh, this component provides functions for management reporting, group accounting by supporting processes for data quality control, consolidation process control and reporting. An application component in SAP is FinCS, which is S4 HANA for group reporting. So if you see the component is still old one, FIN CS means financial consolidation. However, they have changed it now to group reporting. And uh, the idea behind the scenes is that uh, group reporting is for consolidation purposes when you have multiple companies uh, or multiple operating companies within the same head office or within the same group. Then at the end, when you report your numbers, uh, legally you have to ensure that when you do the group reporting, uh, you have to bring together all the numbers. At the same time, you also have to remove out the intercompany numbers because of course, a lot of time entities trade together, they charged each other for the expenses, for the sales, they do trading within each other. For example, if a company is in UK and if it is supplying material to Singapore company, so from their legal, individual legal entity perspective, Singapore will report it as a purchase and UK will report it as a sale uh, or other way around as the case may be. But at the end, when the go globally, the company headquarters report the number, they cannot report that transaction as a purchase and sale because it's happening within the group. So that elimination needs to happen. So group reporting is kind of, you know, a name of the product as well as it is a general term which we use, okay, when we say, okay, this is a company, it's a headquarter group and it has group reporting has to happen. So you, you have to take it in two ways. It's an official product name as well as it's a general term we talk. However, it's basically a consolidation. Next one, can we connect this on the top of CIF? And of course, yes, uh, it is more valuable. So what it does is uh, when you can, you bring your data from ECC or non SAP systems to CIFIN and you implement group reporting on top of it. So your source of data will be only one system. So it could have been done previously as well when the FNCS consolidation system was available or any other consolidation system like Hyperion financial management is also available in the market. So that you have to connect all your source on top of it. Uh, and uh, those are supplying the data to that system, but now you have all the transactional data coming in one system. It's easy to connect. And if you see this diagram, it shows group reporting for data collection. It's a basically a cloud platform. You don't need to worry about cloud or, or uh, premise. Idea here is to give you example. And on top of group reporting, you see there is a uh, SAP Analytics Cloud, which is a planning tool. I will talk about this tool separately, not now. I'll not confuse you. So yes, you can connect at the top uh, of, on the top of CFIN, this tool, and all the data coming from source transactional systems will be reported. What are the benefits? Uh, S4 HANA CFIN system is getting data from all systems, including non-SAP, so you don't need to have work on different kind of connection interfaces. All data is at one place, of course, uh, when all your transactional data is one place, so you, it's easy from performance perspective, uh, from the real time data is available in, in S4 HANA itself, and it is not something in system outside setting S4 HANA. It is within S4 HANA itself, so you don't need to worry about the timing, the performance, uh, and then you can execute con in cons consolidation bringing all the numbers together, intercompany elimination and other group level functions like if you have to do the revaluation or anything else. 
Group reporting in central finance is not limited to period and closing and based on the pre-consolidated information, central finance allow you to execute consolidation steps in CFIN to derive full consolidated statement including intercompany elimination. So it's not just a tool, it also provides benefit if you are implementing it on top of central finance. Does it value if it uh, presence of universal general? Of course, uh, it is also possible to create hierarchies for master data specific to consolidation in group reporting and then of also it uh, you leverage the universal general uh, the ac docker table uh, as a single source of truth and in case of cfin the universal general is fed with all the data so in cfin system universal general is receiving data from all sources and now on top of that this universal general will be the source of data for group reporting so of course it adds value to the to the process and to the to the um, to the architecture can I do entity benchmarking? Absolutely. This is one of the important uh, part. Uh, if one entity is performing well, another entity is not. So you can do entity benchmarking because here you are getting data for all the entities together. You Nobody can hide the data saying, okay, what Singapore is doing or what uh, UK is doing and what uh, China is doing. You have all the data together and you can run comparisons. You can do benchmarking. So this is another very important feature uh, that benchmarking can also be done uh, from from a group reporting perspective, not just a transactional work, but also the analytical work can also be done. So that's all for today. And which, uh, as you see on the screen now, we have uh, 18 videos available uh, already. Lot of, and all of them are in FAQ format. And apart from that, there are several other videos from training perspective, and I will keep on adding these videos in FAQ format itself, of course. So with the way you will get more views and keep ensuring that you learn and also please do not forget to like subscribe the channel share the channel so that uh, you also get knowledge and also your peers and colleagues also get knowledge. Thank you for now and I will come back with another interesting video in FAQ format. Thank you.